What up? Let's get to it. <laughs> it's the Warriors music! It's the Ultimate Warrior! It is! Look at that! The Ultimate Warrior! What is he doing? Is he going to attack Hogan? What is going on here? Close line! So listening to... Quazies, Quazy Adolfo Mensas, Kevin O'Connell's most recent presser. They said a lot, said a lot. As we know, in pressers, it seems like that's when Minnesota Vikings, huh? <laughs> Coaches and players speak the most, promise the most, talk guaranteed the most, right? All right, cool. But the biggest part, the most important segment out of the presser for me is when Quazy expressed O'Connell as well that. Eventually, they want to get to the point where there is no more rebuild. <laughs> no more competitive rebuild is just being competitive. All right, well, bet. <laughs> but the question and the answer is, do they really want to get to that level? And the answer has been no, bro. <laughs> right? Not so far. At least not so far. Now, in previous videos, you know, off season, last off season, I said you won't be able to tell who, what, Quazy, O'Connell, and their new regime is, what the team, who the team is. If they passed or failed the test until year three, well, guess what? Here we are, baby. It's year three of the regime, year three coming up. <laughs> this is the make or break year, right? If the, if the Vikings come and have the same piss poor season, have the same piss poor excuses, then Quazy and O'Connell should be out of that, baby. But we know the Wilfs. This is Minnesota. This is Minnesota Vikings nice. Minnesota Vikings ownership. Soft, huh? Very soft. Love, okay, content with being average, mediocre, right? All right. But let's be real. I think right now, Kevin O'Connell and Quazy should both be on the hot seat at the same damn time, huh? 1,000. 1,000, huh? Lank, man. <laughs> yeah. Shout out Bama. Shout out just uh, Jalen Milrow. Heavy. <laughs> But let's get back to it. Yes, they should both be on the hot seat. So we're going to, they have the chance to prove how great, if they want to be great, by the moves they make. So they say they're trying to get out of a competitive rebuild where it's no longer a rebuild. Well, guess what? It starts <laughs> this offseason. Since they want to be good, they're tired of being in the rebuild. Don't seem like it heavy. So we're going to see how, just how bad they want to be winners, competitors, huh? get out of the rebuild and continue to compete, right? What's well, going to be very interesting, very intriguing with some of the moves they make, i.e. the Kirk Cousins move. What happens with him? Do they make the right decision on him? Do they give him more than he is deserved, huh? Now, we all know coming off of Achilles tear 36, I feel it will be a domino effect for Kirk Cousins as far as injuries. I don't think he'll be the same quarterback. Now, with speculations, old Kirk said what? He'll give a home discount, and I'll get into a full, a full video of that later. But home discount? <laughs> how ironic. How convenient for Kirk Cousins. He knows he's not the same, won't be the same. He realizes how important or how dangerous, huh? Uh, Achilles tendon tear can be. How could, it, how could it affect him going forward in his career, dog? Kirk Cousins knows this, so it's no, are you shocked that he says, oh, I'll give you a home price now, a discount, a discount? Come on, man. Almost want to say, shut that discount up your ass, Kirk Cousins. Heavy, big dog. All of a sudden, it's good for you to get a discount, but it wasn't good when he first came to Minnesota. Or the first, second, three, four, five years, it wasn't good then, right? He couldn't take a discount so they could build around him, maybe get him some more protection, more weapons, a better defense. He couldn't take a pay cut. That's why we'll always question, is it about winning for Kirk Cousins, though? Heavy. Period. Bottom line. <laughs> Heavy, man. So it's going to be interesting what they do, how they handle the Kirk Cousins contract. Not only that, uh, how do they create cap space? Veterans that should be let go, who are slow, i.e. Harrison Smith, Jordan Hicks, a few others to name. I'll get into that later as far as freeing up some cap space, huh? Or, or do they keep guys around again? <laughs> Overpay guys, huh? Want to get better or not, man? They talking a lot like we've seen them talk a lot in presser after presser, especially the offseason, huh? 
Even when they first were hired, got the job, their first presser ever. A lot of promises, dog. A lot of promises, right? <laughs> what they going to do? What they going to change? No doubt a new energy, new culture, but where are the wins, huh? Where's the standard, huh? Kevin O'Connell heavy, huh? <laughs> you ask me, they sound like the presidents every time they run for election. A lot of talking in the beginning, but at the end, <laughs> nothing's done, baby. Heavy. <laughs> 1,000, you hear me clear? They sound like two presidents running for election. Saying a lot at the beginning, but at the end, nothing is done, dog. <laughs> so that's my question, and we're going to see how bad they want to be great. They spoke on an array of things, but that was the main point. What will Kevin O'Connell do? Can he find a quarterback, huh? <laughs> Heavy, dog. If he wants to continue to be a play caller, will he become better? Will he be innovative? Will he stay stuck in his ego and not give the job up, bro, and just be a head coach? Because his play calling has been atrocious, piss poor, bro. So that's the main thing I take out of it. You talking about no longer being a competitive rebuild? Well, look around, Quazy. Look around, O'Connell. It's a lot of moves that need to be made. You're behind the eight ball, not just the NFC, the NFL, and the NFC North, big dog. You need trench work. You need trench work. What talent can you bring in? And you can't do it in one year, right? One offseason unless... <laughs> Like I said last season, they hit on the draft, huh? They hit in the draft, right? I don't want to hear about as difficult as tough facts, but if the scouts do their job, like 31 other teams, huh? If the scouts do their job, you can see every, every round pick can contribute to the team, right? Heavy, man. You can look all around the NFL, teams who draft very well, huh? Teams who draft very well. Look at the elite teams. They've either drafted or hit free agency, dog. And they don't keep players around too long, bro. Heavy. Bottom line, 1,000. You see how long the Ravens took to negotiate with Lamar Jackson? Huh? And that's Lamar Jackson. You think they would be wasting time with Kirk? Hell to the gnaw, baby. Heavy. But you want to talk about being competitive? The Pack Just in the NFC North, the Packers will be better. The Bears will be better, dog. Heavy. NFC, look at the elite teams now. They're great in the trenches. They're good everywhere Good everywhere else or very good, man. They have depth. Someone gets injured, they got people who can fill in that spot, dog. Period. The Vikings don't have depth, whether it's starters or depth. <laughs> Heavy, huh? So they got to get great starters and a good depth chart, dog. That ain't easy, bro. But it starts this offseason, huh? We'll see the trajectory the team is going. Period, bottom line, man. And if Quazy and O'Connell ain't it, get him out the building, Wolfs. <laughs> Might be time for the Wolfs to get out the damn building, baby. <laughs> That's my take, my opinion on it. Quazy and O'Connell's most recent presser. A lot was said, all right, bet, but we've heard it before. How great do they really want to be? Let me know how you feel about the video. Fire them comments up. Fire them comments up, huh? Feedback is much appreciated, man. Skull Vikes forever. <laughs> yeah. 1,000. 1,000, huh? Lamp. <laughs> yeah.